composing gloves here and today we are going to be talking about custom keyboard shortcuts so let me give you an example you could do this with any program but we're going to be talking about things that you could do in NFL to sort of just customize your workflow in ways that you probably didn't even know you had available to you so right now I have massive open and massive is a third-party VST meaning if I want to automate something so let's say I've got this line it's just a bunch of C's and uh, let's say I have this going on, right? And we pretend I have a track and it's going and I want to automate, let's say this macro down here, macro three. When, and usually I would have to go up here, go to browse parameters, move the parameter typically, and we'll highlight it. And then I can right click, create automation clip. Uh, or I could alternatively tweak it meaning move it, then go up to tools, last tweaked, and then create automation clip. And it will also create an automation clip. Both of these methods involve a fair amount of mouse movement and looking and eyeballing particular menus. And you can streamline both of them by memorizing particular keyboard shortcuts, or you can just make a macro that is so that it will open up both. So for example, right now I have it set up and you can download these on my website, these keyboard shortcuts that I'm about to show you. And I will show you how to make your own. If I move this, let's, uh, let's close this. So I wanna create an automation clip for this guy. I'm simply going to hit Control, Windows key C, and it goes up and does the tools menu. You see that my plugin has become out of focus and it has put an automation clip. So now I can move it and as it goes, you can see it. It is working. You can see this is moving. So that's really super. Now let's say that, hey, but I don't want that because this will happen when you do this method anyways. It will open it up. Let's say I want this to stay in focus and show me the list so I could just go to the list without having to go through these menus. Well, okay, you could do that too. All you do is let's say you want to, in this case, you just need to make sure your plugin is in focus for this particular one. And then you just hit... Uh, window the window key and then you hit E and bang it opens it up And so now I can move controls and it will automatically select them and when I create an automation clip So I go hit create automation clip you see that it does not Take my plugin out of focus and if you have a lot of windows lying around Then you generally will want your this to stay in focus So then you could just hit with your with it still in focus You can hit the windows key and E again and you will notice that it will pop up and you can do your stuff. So I've tried to pick keys that will not conflict with what you're doing. I have a couple others, but let's really quick talk about what's going on. So hopefully that, like that, that, that one was one that I, that's what drove me to figure out how to even make these because I was like, I'm friggin' done trying to play this stupid game of coming up here and going through these menus. And so, yeah, I was done. Another thing that you don't, if you know about this, if you hit, if you have that menu open, so here's the menu, right? Using my keyboard shortcut. If I just right click the one I want and hit A, it will automatically create an automation clip. So let's just say right click A and then bang it also. So that could be much faster since your hand is already on the keyboard. So let's talk about this and why I picked the ones that I did. So I picked window key shortcuts because it's not going to conflict with any shortcuts that exist within FL Studio. You will see here that I have a script running, this little H. That's what you're going to have running, and you have to run it every time you turn your computer on if you want it to work. And if you don't want it to work, let's say that you need it for some other program that does something that you're looking to do, you can simply pause it or exit or suspend it. You know, you could just get rid of it. So Let's talk about this. So this comes from a program. It is auto hotkey. It's simply at this web address, autohotkey.com. And you can download it. So you just click download and you want the installer and you just install it somewhere on your system. After it has been installed, you now have the option to, you see the auto hotkey right here, or you could search for auto hotkey to bring it up. But as you open it, uh, once you have this installed, you will have the option to right click on your desktop and you will be able to go to new auto hotkey script. And so you'll click that and it will open up a new auto hotkey script. Now there's a whole language that goes with this and I'm not gonna like 
teach you how this language works because it's really crazy and in-depth and I don't even understand a, a great deal of it just right now. I'm just pretty new. But in my download, you will get a help manual that will explain the keyboard shortcuts that currently exist. And again, I, I just say run at your own risk because I'm not sure it's going to work on your system quite as nicely as it has on mine. But probably it shouldn't be an issue. But we have Windows plus A. Well, it shouldn't be an issue. That's what I'm trying to say. If it is an issue, it's not my problem. It's your problem and you can figure it out. So as you can see, you can see the, the things I have auto color, group select, route selected track and parallel to a target selected track, which was friggin' annoying and all these things. And you will get the exe file. Now, of course, I have the master script file and that one's right here and I'll show you what's in here. So in order to do this, once you create um, a hotkey thing, a hotkey script, you go to, you'll see you have these run script, compile script and edit script. Compile script will make an exe file that you can send your friend and it will work. If you try and send them uh, one of these script files, it won't work unless they have auto hotkey. So you click edit script and it will open up notepad. I'm using notepad. I don't need a crazy editor for this, but you could use an editor that recognizes scripting language and can do cool stuff. I'm, I'm really, really elementary on this sort of deal. But anyways, you can see here, this stands for the, the Windows key on your keyboard. So, and then this is A. This is identifying it as a keyboard shortcut. And then every time you see the word send, it is sending these keys. So the, the F3 key and then the up, 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 enter. And it is sending those keys to the program or the window that you currently have open. So if you have FL Studios open, it will send it to FL Studios. Now, as you can see here, the, the auto color group, this is how you, you kind of go about making it. So you see something that, you know, you wish you could automate. And so what you do is you go, well, how can I get there by simulating keyboard shortcuts that already exist? You're basically going to trigger them. Well, if I have massive open, if you hit F3, it will bring up, uh, it will, oh, so in this case, in Massive, you see if you hit F3, it won't bring up your menu. But if you're outside with your channel rack and focusing at F3, it will bring up your menu, right? And so you're, the question is, how do you get to this menu? So I want to automate it so that when I push a button, it will instantly go to the tools and go to last tweaked and, and do that. So what I want to do is I go, oh, I need to have my channel rack and focus for that key to work. So I the first key I will send is F6. So I hit F6. Then I'm like, how do I get up here to this menu bar? Well, that's F3. Now I'm up here in F3. And as you see, it pops up the tools. And if I come down, I can hit down one, two, three, four, five, six times. And then I hit over, or I believe I can hit L or T to get there. I forgot. There's a there's one, there's a letter though that'll get you there faster. And then you hit down some number of times, or you can just hit A, and it will create an automation clip. So if I can tell my program to do all the strokes automatically via a shorter stroke, then that will be of my to my benefit. So if you come down here and we look at crates, you can see I made it the Windows key and control because it, the Windows key, I was having other issues with some of these shortcuts. So you're gonna you may need to experiment because you don't want to override shortcuts that you may find useful. Uh, so if you hit the control and then the, so that's that symbol stands for control. This symbol stands for the Windows key. And I chose Windows keys because they don't conflict with anything in FL. And then I use the letter C because it's a pretty close letter. I don't want to be reaching very far. And it's sort of a natural motion, control Windows C. So that was kind of natural. I anticipate using this quite a bit. And as you see, it sends F6, F3, left twice, and then it hits L and A, and then return simply ends the script. It's real important that you have return there. And then bang. So that is what you're doing. So you want to look for ways to streamline it using keyboard shortcuts. There are ways to do mouse movements, but um, I have not experimented with it or gotten into it, so I cannot share with you how that works. But anyways, that is... So this is the script that it looks like, and you will save it. So you save your script... And then once your script is saved, you can double click your script to run it. Or if you are happy with your script and you've got it doing everything you want, you can hit compile script. Now you'll notice I have a whole load of keyboard shortcuts inside that one, that one file, which is great. So you can have all of them in one file. You can put it 
on a flash drive, an EXE file, and then you can load it up on some other computer and run it with your special keyboard shortcuts while you're working there and not be obtrusive to the nature of whoever's computer it is. And then you can just simply, uh, un you can end the, the program. So if I hit like exit, now the script is no longer running. My keyboard shortcuts won't work. So I have to run it again. You see the H pops back up. If you have a whole bunch of them, they'll pop up as you saw in, in the mixer FL workflow video. I think it was the one before this one, that one. I had a whole load of them because I was doing them individually at the time. You can make these things do so many cool things, man. So, for example, one of them that I showed you in the workflow, where did my, there it is. So, one of the things in the workflow that I had is I showed you that I made a keyboard shortcut to select these. And then whatever channel I selected first, I could tell all other channels to route there and route out. The problem was... Of course, they would route in parallel, and if I use, uh, no, they would they would route in um, serial or whatever. They would undo the routing. I guess it's not either, but it would undo all your other routing, and then control would basically create a subgroup, and all the routing would go there first. It would not maintain parallel routing, which can be super annoying. So I decided to make my own, and I made it the Windows key S. Then you see, all of a sudden, all my arrows went light right there, but now they're going out to here and to here. That was a big deal for me. You might be saying, what'd you do for that one? Well, I made it so that if you hit F3 and then you hit T for track, and it's not it's not doing its thing right now. F3 T. Alternatively, you could hit down a bunch of times. I think I did use down. But anyways, you hit down some amount of times to track routing. Oh, I know why it's not working. You have to have multiple ones selected. So this is where it sort of becomes a specialized thing. For example, I have to have my mixer open. And whatever track I select first, that's going to be the track that becomes a subgroup. Then I select my other tracks. And so I want these to come to this track. Then I will. And so if I hit F3. It will bring this up. If I hit T, it will bring me to track routing. And then all I need to do is hit enter. And then bang, it pops up. So I could do that or I could just hit, I could follow those key stro strokes, which is kind of annoying. Or I could hit control S. I mean, Windows key S. And it will work. So that's how you make custom shortcuts. It's really, 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 really great. And you can do it in any program. Like you could have Pro Tools open and do that. You could have, uh, as long as it has, sorry, as long as you have a way to get there with your keyboard, this will work. Of course, you can make it, you can make more advanced ones. You can even make graphical user interfaces, not like, I, I, I just know that it's an option. I don't know the extent or whatever it is. I just wanted to do this and that was it. And so this was the solution that I found. And again, I have download up on my website where you can get it. The link will be in the description. It's really cool really handy those the ones i have are the ones that i felt like were the big ones but if you have some killer shortcut that you would just love to see that you you figured out a way to do i'd be happy to add it to my script and make it available so long as the keyboard shortcut makes sense it doesn't take up a previously existing thing so that's that if you have any questions let me know support me on patreon subscribe and have a blessed day just showing you sort of what i was going after i was listening to this first bit a lot now mine's a bit bigger i would need to thin it out more i could probably get at it more with eq Let's take out that boomy bottom end